the host of Let's Talk Teens, Dr. Keela Henry, board certified family medicine physician, speaker, and award winning author. Southern born from Georgia and now practicing in the Atlanta area, Dr. Keela is a self made, savvy, and trusted doctor. everybody welcome to this week's edition of let's talk teens with dr keela and of course i am your host dr keela board certified family practitioner speaker and award-winning author of your favorite book mia and the numbers game a teenager's guide to education relationships and sex this isn't going to be a very long edition of let's talk teens but i wanted to talk about something that I don't think people think of very often when it comes to the topic of mental health. Hey, Key Media Group, thanks for joining the live. And that's about some natural ways that we can treat some of our common mental health issues by using nature and using foods, basically what Mother Earth gives us. Now, there are three brain neurotransmitters that I want to talk about and how they function in the brain, and then the foods that are high in these neurotransmitters that we can incorporate into our diets to kind of help whenever we have young people in our lives who may be suffering with depression and anxiety. One of the things that we face as doctors is whether or not to prescribe medication, particularly in young people because of the potential side effects. But hey, Unless you're allergic to a particular food, there are no side effects. So this is potentially an option for treatment. Now let's talk about serotonin. You may have heard of that before. Serotonin is a brain neurotransmitter. The way it works is that it carries messages between our brain cells and the body. And serotonin is responsible for how we feel, our mood, and our digestion, it has a number of functions in the body. When we're low in serotonin, we can experience depression and anxiety. So some foods that are high in serotonin are chickpeas, quinoa, sweet potatoes, and dark chocolate. So some of us may still have some dark chocolate lying around from Valentine's Day a few days ago. Another brain neurotransmitter that's implicated in depression is dopamine. And dopamine is very similar to serotonin in that it acts like a, an Amazon driver or a postal mail carrier in terms of transmitting messages and carrying them back and forth between the brain cells and the body. So foods that are high in dopamine are broccoli, lentils, brown rice, spinach, and pumpkin and sesame seeds. And then last, the brain neurotransmitter I want to discuss is GABA, G-A-B-A, and that stands for gamma aminobutyric acid. That's a mouthful, which is why we just call it GABA. Now, GABA is kind of like that mother figure that helps to calm you down when you're feeling really scared or maybe you're, you're having a bit of a panic episode and you're crying a lot. GABA works in the brain to kind of calm us down whenever there's a lot of stimuli that can lead to anxiety. What I noticed about GABA is some of the foods that are actually high in dopamine, they're in common and they're high in GABA as well. And that would be the broccoli, lentils, and the spinach. So why don't we start incorporating more of these grains, fruits, and vegetables into our diet as a potential natural way to treat mental health issues. All right, everyone, that concludes this week's edition of Let's Talk Teens. I'll see you all next week. Bye now.